quite unbelievable, but it is actually now snowing on our way back. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell. I don't know, she might be a bit of sleet, but um, yeah. No, but it is turning slightly nicely white now. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to another bucket list adventure. And today's trip, we're just outside Warminster that you can see behind me heading up towards an old Iron Age fort that's uh, part of the English Heritage Site. Oh, sorry, National Trust. Easy to get them confused sometimes. Beautiful sunny day. Other than that, this is actually going to be the last time we visit Warminster. We've passed through it before. We'll probably pass through it again on our way down to Southampton, but uh, we won't be stopping here. So it was a nice little walk briefly through town few of the old shops and buildings that we could see. So onwards and upwards. That is the way. One thing you have to love about walking out in the uh, British countryside is uh, the fencing. So we have a lovely gate here and then nothing. And just further down there, there is actually barbed wire across the top of the fence. <laughs> but there's a massive hole in the fence, so that makes you why, wonder why it's there. As well as a style to get over the fence here. There's National Trust. Right, so we're here now at the base of Clegg Hill and what a view it is over Warminster. Um, as you can see, Warminster stretching out from below. We were down the bottom there earlier and now we're partially the other way up. Um, to be honest, we're what, about halfway up really? Probably, yeah. Yeah, so uh, not that much further to go, you can see. Takes a little bit steeper from here, but it's a beautiful view. And sadly, there is now a cloud appeared. <laughs> so hopefully the rain will hold off, but I hope, I think it will do. Just a passing cloud. All right, we've made it to the top of Clegg Hill and it's a lovely view. We've sat up here for a couple of minutes now. We have a chat about the football. And... Uh, sun briefly came back out. Yeah, briefly a bit of sun. Now it's disappeared behind a cloud again. Hopefully it'll reappear in a second. One of the things we do when we come to forts and castles is we we actually have a discussion about whether we could use this as like a zombie apocalypse and whether we would be able to come here and use this as a base and we sit and weigh up all the pros and cons and we've discussed the same thing here and we've looked at you know is it nicely defendable well yeah it's a beautiful vantage point to see all the way around only problem is though it's rather exposed yeah, there's some nice woodlands nearby, but it would be a trouble to get the wood up to the top here to build anything. So in that sense, we wouldn't use this. <laughs> um, but as an old Iron Age fort, it's quite a big site, really, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah, know, what we're we're sat we're sat on the highest point, roughly. Um, the highest point is actually just behind us, but there's a uh, quite a large area just down in front of us that's sort of halfway up and uh, a beautiful view and I'll just turn you around to show you what Warminster is. As you can see Warminster just down there in the valley and that's where we'll be heading back again to uh, to catch the train back to Bristol again.
always one of the fears when Joe goes near the edge <laughs> is, can we make that a shortcut? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, and we're now down on the bottom of Clay Hill and sun's been back out. Been a nice day. Back out in the country for, done a lot of foot, football rugby stadiums recently. And been a while since we've been out in the countryside like this. So now warming up a bit. So yeah, it's a good day for it. <laughs>